Hello, my loves. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. We are going to get started on this reading right away and see what Spirit has for my beautiful aquas today. And let's go. All right, guys. First card up is the Devil. But it's next to the Ace of Cups. It looks like some of you had a rough start to your morning, okay? Um, but that's going to be quick to change. I'm seeing some happiness coming in next to this two of pentacles, which is, uh, things are going to balance out for you today. All right. And it looks like, uh, has something to do with someone you love and this decision that you're making. Okay. There's something up here though. Something is getting in the way of your happiness this morning. But again, I am seeing this balancing out something to do with this loved one and a decision being made. Okay, I'm seeing this feminine here who is the one carrying this burden now regarding this king of wands. Okay, so there's something you're the queen of swords. Okay, so you're usually somebody who is um, very focused. Uh, very decisive, you're very loving and giving, but you don't put up with any crap, okay? Something's going on with this King of Wands in your life that is co creating, causing some kind of, um, you know, a feeling that you, you're just, uh, every day you're dealing with this, um, something's rubbing you the wrong way, okay? And I'm also seeing this King of Cups in the picture next to the Page of Pentacles. Now, this King of Cups... Um, he's going to bring in some good news for you, it looks like, okay? And it might be regarding the King of Wands, all right? So maybe there was something about this King of Wands that you didn't understand. Um, this King of Cups is going to bring in this understanding for you, and it's going to allow you um, this solid new beginning. This is going to be good news here, okay? So you may be able to start over with this King of Wands, whoever this is to you, and we're going to continue. Guys, I am still doing a $15 reading. For those interested, you can click on the description below the video and there'll be instructions for you there. Here I'm picking up on this masculine. Okay, you're very confident. You're very confident and you're trying to... Uh, do something or take care of something uh, really quick, okay? You want this done. You wanted it done yesterday. Whatever this is, it's making you feel stuck and guarded. However, Spirit is saying you are not stuck, okay? You're telling yourself you're stuck. So all that is needed is for you to untie that ankle and you can just walk away, all right? Sometimes we do this. Um, we make excuses. Um, we feel stuck in a situation, and um, it's really more about guilt, okay? We don't want to hurt somebody. We don't want to leave somebody. We don't want to, um, you know, bring any pain to somebody. And sometimes it's about us. We're comfortable. Uh, we don't want to rock the boat. We're, we're fearful of what's, how, how am I going to do this on my own um, without this person in my life, okay? So these are all variables. You guys, you know, if this is resonating, you need to do a deep dive and figure it out because <clears throat> honestly, if you don't get yourself to a point where it's all you, you can take care of you financially, you're financially, uh, maybe not wealthy, but you know, you could always go out and get a job. You could always make ends meet. You could always figure it out, whether you have to go to a food pantry during rough times, um, or you have to go, um, get some extra help that is usually out there in your town or city by overturning, you know, going to social services, you know, times can sometimes get tough guys. And sometimes we need to bite the bullet and go and, um, accept, accept some of these services until we get into a better situation. You know, there's times where we were between jobs, we're single parents, uh, shit happens, right? So <clears throat> you have to kind of get your ego out of the way. You have to do what needs to be done. And that just makes you a strong person. Okay. That makes you a person who doesn't give a shit. What else is going on? You know, as far as other people forming a, an opinion of you, um, and you know, you don't even have to let people know about 
about that, okay? But I do see there's a lot of self-confidence with my aquas this morning. There might be some st stuckness that you can easily remove yourself from. They're showing more stuckness here. So I think a lot of you are still in at least one situation like this where you're feeling <clears throat> stuck, but the truth be known, this is another one of those uh, cards where you can take that blindfold off and walk away. Um, you're not completely stuck unless you want to be. Okay, now right next to you, right next to you looking very stuck here is the manifestation card and the strength card. Okay, so you totally have it in you now, guys, to move away from anything negative and start manifesting your life and creating your life the way you see it, the way you want it. Okay, um, <clears throat> spirit is backing you. Spirit is uh, watching over everything that's happening right now. And boy, is there a lot happening. And <clears throat> there's going to be some good news coming in. This is coming directly from spirit, of course. They want you to know, they want me to tell you that there's good news coming in. This is different than the good news we usually talk about. This is going to be something major. Okay, so let's continue. All right, guys. So here I'm seeing for my aquas a lot of healing from these broken hearts and confusion here. Um, you know, the healing is in the center. We always talk about the cards in the center, having a deeper meaning, um, taking precedence over the rest of the cards. Not that the rest of the cards are meaningless. They all mean something, but this is where all the powers, uh, are. Okay. And so they're showing a major, uh, some kind of major healing coming in for my Aquarius and all around this healing are all different types of situations, guys. This is a lot of uh, needed healing here. And they're saying that this is already here. You should already be feeling this. And some of this, a lot of this is you making these decisions to move away from the things that make you feel conflicted, okay? So we do have this confliction, this, you know, inner... Uh, conversations that we have with ourselves, you know, and don't tell me you don't do this because I know you do. <laughs> I know we all do this, I think, right? If you do this, guys, what I'm about to explain, please comment below where somebody pisses you off or you're just, you're, you're going back and forth on something in your mind and you're running around your house when you're alone and you're, you're talking out loud as if you're talking to the person that you want to say these things to and you're going over all these different scenarios and then you get madder as you, you know, go and, you know, it's like a, a, a self shit show. <laughs> it's like, cause, you know, it's kind of funny when you think about it, right? But a lot of times these, you know, self conversations help us work through things and get to the bottom of decisions that need to be made. But I am seeing a lot of inner conflict. Uh, some of it is financial. I'm seeing a lot of you maybe feeling insecure about your finances or, you know, I'm, I feel like this card today is about layoffs. It's about fear of layoffs. It's about uh, closures. Okay. And I just read this morning a whole lot of banks and companies. All right, guys, as far as this goes, all right, I want to, I want to touch on something with you. I'm going to do it at the end of the reading for those who aren't interested uh, and just want the reading. Okay. But I do have something to tell you of importance and maybe it'll make you feel a little calmer and a little better about everything that's going on. But anyway, in the middle, this great healing has come in already. So you guys might be seeing things um, unravel by on their own without even having to make a decision. Things just mysteriously working, uh, working out. Um, conflicts that you thought you're having with other people are just resolving themselves. Um, and this, you know, brokenheartedness over relationships that haven't worked or, you know, breakups, fresh breakups you've gone through, fights with family members, confusion, all right? All of these emotions are in the process of going through this major healing, 
okay? So if you're feeling that, please comment. <clears throat> I'd love to know. All right. And Aquarius, I'm seeing uh, wonderful just, wow. I'm seeing this wonderful justice coming in for you. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is about uh, protective, protectiveness, uh, being loyal, patient, okay? And this is uh, pretty much describes my Aquariuses. A lot of you are just that right? Um, you are patient and you are loyal. All right. And a lot of you, um, are working hard also being persistent, working hard for what you want. Spirit is saying, once again, your justice is coming. You are going to get your justice and all this hard work, uh, for how many years that you've been at it. And you don't have to be like a, a, uh, you know, in some kind of very, uh, high, um, financial bracket as far as how much money you make you're just you know you could just be a regular joe or a regular julie working you know in the um plant you know or in the um you know whatever job you have whatever career you have they want you to use your intuition because we have this wheel here, this wheel of fortune, which is coming to you. This is a windfall, guys. This is on its way. This is going to resolve a lot of things in your life, okay? And that is, this is a big part of the healing. Um, over here, we have the five of swords. Guys, I need a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I just, I forgot I, I had a, a, a thing that was going to go off like an alarm and I didn't want to um, have too much time, too much disturbance in the background. Okay, but here they're showing, this is a, a very spiritual card, guys. This There's four angels in the corners. Okay, this is about a windfall coming in. This is wealth. And this is prosperity and it's other things. There's other things attached to this. There's so much positivity in this card. I could just go on and on and on, but there is like a individualized, a uh, whole slew of positive things coming to each and every one of you that was devised specific to you, uh, partly through spirit. Okay. This is all positivity. There's nothing negative coming to you in this card, but they know what is going to behoove you, what is going to be good for you, and you are going to see all of these things open up to you, okay? And with this five of swords over here, this is kind of, you know, some of you who still aren't really latching on to this, believing this, still waiting for the shoe to drop over here. Okay, let's continue. All right, we have the world card and then we have the six of swords, which is uh, a lot of you are moving uh, towards the things that you are focused on, things that you want, okay? Uh, this is the card of opportunity, by the way, okay? And I'm seeing you uh, very focused, very focused on how you're going about um, any opportunities that open up to you. And part of this opportunity that you're focused, this is for those of you who are focused on and do know about uh, this blessing that's coming in, okay? Because you have the four of wands here. This is all about... Um, abundance and celebration okay um next to that we have the six of pentacles which is about money all right it's not just money it's wealth prosperity it's about sharing money it's about assisting others with your wealth it's assistance it's giving it's receiving and being valued guys so for those of you who uh, understand this card, understand what the meaning is, why this is here right now. Um, a lot of you are going to be assisting when this money comes in. A lot of you are going to be assisting uh, humanitarian projects. You're going to have that kind of wealth and you're going to be helping others. Okay, let's continue. I'm seeing a feminine here right now next to this ace of pentacles. Wow, 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 guys. I don't know what to say except for 
the Empress card here, okay? Um, the Empress is about embracing your softer side, okay? It, it's, a lot of times it's about motherhood, okay? Um, so some of my feminines might be planning a pregnancy or might have just found out you're pregnant, okay? But this is also about planting seeds. And we have, uh, and the planting seeds could be about, you know, things that are going on in the world right now for humanity, things that are being done for my aquas specifically as well, okay? And here we have Ace of Pentacles. This is a financial new beginning. This could be a new job, okay? So this could be for uh, uh, my single moms out there. Some of you might be, you know, looking for work right now. Um, this might be somebody who is actually going to be getting that call. This is uh, going to bring in security for you. This is about a new job, financial new beginning. I'm seeing the justice card here. So for those that are looking for work, I'm seeing the justice card here for you. And I'm seeing a lot of happiness. This is going to make you feel uh, a lot more secure and happy when you um, figure out that you did get this job that you went for, for some of you, you're just thinking about going for a job. You're not working right now and you're stressing, okay? This is an omen. This is an omen that you will see a victory if you go out there now, okay? So there are a lot of companies closing down and that brings me to this conversation. But first I want to talk about this Eight of Pentacles here, which has been your commitment and dedication. Spirit knows that you've been working for years, a lot of you, okay? And some of you are just in this place where... You're not seeing your hard work paying off and you feel like giving up. They're saying that don't give up yet. You're on the brink of something huge. You're on the brink of a victory. Okay. So what I wanted to say, guys, at the end of the reading is here is about uh, an article I was reading this morning and this blessing has to be bestowed upon us. It, it's a must it has to happen. And the reason that is, is because AI is just speeding like lightning um, as far as uh, developing uh, all of the companies are starting to use it. Okay. They're starting to use it. They no longer need um, workers. Okay. So workers are going to be a thing of the past. They'll still need some people for some things, but a lot of these plants, a lot of these uh, fast food companies, a lot of these companies are no longer going to need us, okay, with the AI. And it's happening very quickly. But instead of freaking out, okay, I'm going to tell you that what is planned is um, a, a monthly financial check and it's it's going to be big these are monies that are owed to you these are monies that were taken from you these are not handouts okay um you will be seeing this um it's called nasara jasara just if you're going to research it there's two different ones so be careful one was devised by um these you know people i talk about who took advantage of us for many years and the other was devised by uh people who wanted to see uh, mankind have what God gave us to begin with, what we're supposed to have, okay? We're supposed to be wealthy. We're supposed to be taking care of one another. We're supposed to be, lo you know, spreading love and joy. And that's what the fifth dimension is all about. So this is going to happen for you, all right? I cannot give you a time frame, but we see what's going on. They see what's going on. And we have this victory card now every day next to the money cards, okay? The money is very close, guys, all right? I'm going to end the reading on this note. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you have a fabulous day. You're almost to Friday, guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, notification button. It helps me immensely, guys. If you want to do something for me, do that. It takes one second. I love you all and have a great day.